Howdy everybody in YouTube land. I want to address something today that uh, I haven't really seen addressed anywhere. I've seen videos talking about it, but I want to go ahead and address it now while I'm thinking about it. Um, as you're all aware of by now, these are 2.5 inch SCSI hard disk drives used in, of course, Apple computers or any other computer in that territory. They all use a drive that's no longer manufactured and they're all failing. And the reason why they're starting to fail, obviously, besides old age, um, especially the Quantums, I, I haven't seen the IBMs or you know, Fujitsu's or any other drives fail this way, but I see the Quantums fail this way all the time. I want to go ahead and address to you what that is. So what we're going to have, what we're going to have here is a drive that I'd already disassembled, took the magnets out. You could see the uh, platter and you see the lines where the head's been riding on the platter for a very, very, very long time. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show the, why these drives fail, the damage. Well, these all these drives have a fault. And that fault is, there's a rubber nipple there, a rubber bumper. And it's actually designed to, to stop the actuator from slamming into the side of the, the spindle. So that, that stopper there, so when the actuator moves, it stops it just before it gets to the edge. Of course, since the rubber melted, it kept slamming the edge and it destroyed the heads anyway, but that's just it. The rubber actually melts. See that nice gooey mess? That is the problem with the Quantum Go drives. So, of course, the rubber melted. It got all over the actuator arm. And let's see if I can pick out which head it is. It's not that head, it's this head. You can kind of tell Mm, that head is destroyed. It's hard to tell, but it is. It's destroyed. So, another thing. Look at the platter. That's all rubber. It's just coated all over the platter. So, of course, it destroyed the platter. You can really see it at that shot right there. See all the rubber? The head on the actuator carried the rubber all over the platter. So yeah, it destroyed the drive. And every single one of these quantums are vulnerable to this this failure. The only way to stop this failure is you're gonna have to take the platter and remove the platter out like this. The only problem is this is a double platter drive so you can't just remove the platters. What you have to do is you have to remove the head and you have to insulate let's see if you if you see the head now they're touching each other you cannot have the heads touch each other it destroys the heads instantly so when you go to remove the heads off the platter you need to insert something in between to separate the heads like this as they come off the platter and they never touch this way you can save the actuator arm and then prevent further damage of the actuator. This is before, this is while the drive still works, not after it's already dead, of course. So then, if it's got a single platter, you can just go ahead and remove it. Obviously, you want to take, make a big Tupperware clean box with uh, extra large latex gloves to do this in. Have your tools inside of it already. And then we remove the platter place it out and then re remove all this rubber and replace it with a new piece of rubber. This is before the drive is damaged. Now if you have a double platter drive, not only do you have to remove the actuator arm, but you have to get a platter compression tool because if the two platters rotate out of phase from one another, the cylinders will no longer line up and then it's junk. The low level formatting was junk. It won't the, 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 the servo tracks will no longer line up or anything, it will just be a mess. So the only way to fix it is to use a, either a piston ring compressor that's modified or an actual compression tool for, for hard drive repair to remove the platters out and set them aside inside the clean box. Then you can get to the rubber and replace it. 
but you can actually see the 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 insert at the bottom of the drive where that rubber sits. And if you don't know if your quantum drive has the rubber or not, take the main board off and look right here. If the stud is right there for the rubber, you have that, you're vulnerable to that problem. If your drive still works, you need to disassemble your drive and repair it if you can. If you don't have the technique or tools to repair the drive, you must remove the drive from active service, unfortunately, because it will die. It's a known failure. And then uh, after you replace that piece of rubber, your drive should last another 10 years. So uh, thank you for watching. I figured I would want to address this problem while I could.